the ledger nano s the problem you run out of space you want to add new coins this thing is full and you don't know what to do let me show you right now Hey, how we doing everyone? Once again, this is Dario from Media Box ENT. We'll be making down to simple and easy. If this is the first time on the channel, you see the little M right there, you're gonna press it, and then you become part of Media Box Universe. Now, we have to say it's a beautiful device. It works every penny. If you guys trying to keep your crypto safe for a long time, because you want to hold this thing, and hope in the future you go to the moon, well, this is the device you need. Now, the problem I'm running, and you're running, and after you put three, four coins, you just run out of space. My case now, I just got Stellar, and this thing is full. So how are we gonna get Stellar? Well, you say, maybe we need to buy another one. That's what we thought in the beginning to do. But actually now, you don't need to buy another one. What we're gonna do, we're gonna delete the ones you don't need. Oh, hold on. You said to me, what do you mean? Are you going to be deleting 2,000, 3,000 coins, whatever you have? Maybe you're going to be deleting like $10,000 worth of Ethereum? Yes. But you're not deleting the coin. You're just deleting the application. You have to remember that anything, any address you open here once is here forever. It's here always in the blockchain. So we have to remember the first time we got this. You got those 25 that you write down a word, you write down on a piece of paper and you keep it in two or three places safe. Well, what happened if you got three, four coins here and these things burn out or you lose this thing? How you get it back? Well, easily you buy another one and you put the 24 word again and you got all the coins back. It's probably the same thing right now. So we can delete the applications, but it's always there. So next time we reinstall the application, it will show up automatically. You sync it, it shows up automatically. How are we going to prove this? Well, in my case, there are a few things we can do here. Now, in case my uh, I have repo. In repo, even though it's a dollar right now, I want to leave it for a long time. Maybe I, I want to wait if it gets a bigger number than that. So I'm not trading uh, repo. Uh, I have Bitcoin Gold. I'm not using it for anything. I'm going to just leave it there. I'm not trading Bitcoin Gold either. So really, I don't need it here. It's wasting space. So what I did, I copied my public address. Just in case I decide to buy more repo, I'm just going to go and send it to the public address. I don't need to resync it anymore. You can send there. You can do that with everything. And then next time you plug it in, it will sync because it's always in, in the public address. You can do that a year later if you want. But I'm going to prove you. They're going to be deleting two coins that I don't need it. We're going to put it back just to show you that it proves the systems. And before you guys do this, um, just to let you know, nothing should happen. But just in case, I'm not responsible if you guys lose any coins. So you got to make sure you know what you're doing. And if you do this, you are 100% responsible of your own device. All right. So let me show you right now what we're going to be running repo. All right. So. Here we got repo. As you guys know, or if you never install repo, repo requires an application to run my case runs on Windows. It's not a Chrome extension. Some people think the coins are being stored in your computer. Nothing is stored in your computer. This is only be able to view, to send and receive. Okay, nothing's installed in your computer. This is just an interface between your nano S and the computer or whatever. So Right now, nothing's on the computer. It's waiting for me, so I'm going to tap the code. We're going to execute repo, and now it's going to open the one in Windows. This is just an interface, a Windows one. Okay, we click on it. All right. So you guys see that there? That's how much I had in repo. So what we're going to do now, we're going to delete it. For that, we need to quick this. So we need to quick one more time. One more time. Okay, boot out. And it starts now. And you see, it's repo there, right? So now, let's find repo in the list right there. Uh oh, we deleting. That's it. 
Now, if we look, we have Bitcoin, Bitcoin Gold, Ethereum, Litecoin, and that's it, guys. It's not it anymore. I mean, for me, if I go now and execute this, the application for Windows is not going to do anything. There's no me. There's no way to me to click here, right? We need to execute it from here. Resume USB and open the application. So now, what you say now? All's gone. That's it, right? All my seventeen hundred uh, repos are gone forever. Not really. Now let's go the other way around. Let's go and let's go and install it back again. We're gonna download it. It's doing it now. It's there again. So now we're gonna close the manager because you only can open once. Also, if you are gonna be transfer repo to another PC, I got a question once too. Is this why I started transfer my balance is zero? It will show you zero, but you need to sync it. So if you pay attention right in the right corner in the top, you see narrow. You click on it and you resync. I'll show you in a second. Now let's prove it. If this works, if not, I lost 1700, 1700 repos. Let's click on it. Let's wait. That's it, guys. It's there. You see that? It was deleted. Now, if you ever happen to you, you see zero because you installed in another computer, just click here. Just resync this thing. Now, let's do this. I'm going to go one more time there. We're going to quit. That's it. Now, so definitely. I know I have my Ripple now. I'm going to load the manager back again. And actually, before I do that, let me show you one more. They're going to see, I'm going to show you, I'm going to delete that too. I'm going to start Bitcoin. In this case, I don't need Bitcoin Gold right now. I'm going to save this for a while. So I'm going to start Bitcoin Gold. And I'm going to go here. So wait. And I show you they got some, I had two, some, what do you have here? 2.3. So I have 2.3. Bitcoin Gold. I don't need it. Whatever. You know, right now I'm not doing anything with this. Maybe I'll leave it for the future. It's wasting the space for me. So let's close this. So now we got the manager and you saw that I have there. So we're going to do now. I don't need Bitcoin Cash right now. I'm going to delete any some space. That's gone. And we're going to delete. We need to delete repo. What is repo? So we delete repo. Let's see if that's gone. Yes. And I'm going to delete Bitcoin Go. And you saw that I got some money there. So that's it, gone. So even I get the Ethereum, but I don't have to have plenty of space. So now what I need. Right now, because I want to get out of this change, and this will be saved for a long time, we need Stellar. So click here, get Stellar, and practically we're going to do the same thing. We install Stellar. Let's see here now, Litecoin, see, Stellar. And what else I think I need? Oh, I'm going to give you a try to this, give you before I delete because I didn't have no more space. Uh, the authenticator, I got it somewhere here. Yes, now I can use this. I got space too. I really want to try that. Didn't try it yet because I deleted it because I need space. That's it for now. Uh, maybe in the future I get some uh, other coins and. And we put it there. You know, we got repo. What else we got? Mm. I wish you got Yoda. No Yoda there. But you got, you got Neo. They got some good ones. So that's good for me now. So I think that will do it for me. My case, I, maybe you have all the coins. You got Bird coin now. Even you can store Bird coin. 
get get the public address for the passet now. That will be good one. Maybe install that one because I was planning to mine that one too. So I can now get address and they say I don't need the wallet in my computer anymore. And install and install and then keep uh, keeping a text format somewhere your public address. Now be careful with that too because there are some uh, spywares that actually goes and change your uh, address actually when you're sending. But you got to be careful if somebody has access to your computer and they see a text file with your public address, they can change it. <laughs> and now when you want to receive something, you know, you know you're going to be receiving to somebody else. You're going to be giving the money to somebody else. So be careful with that. Just always um, double check, you know, the public address that you got safe or print out or whatever you want to use. Oh, so, yeah, guys. I mean, it's pretty simple. I think and it save you a lot of money. You know, I was thinking to buy another one and you don't have to. And I'll see you next time. All right, guys. So I'll see you next time. Another cool video from Media Box and T. Bye.